Hi, I'm Ryan Bennett. And I'm Aidan Harkins. And this is the importance of being earnest. As fast as possible. Act one! Ernest and his friend Algernon are both young, rich and bored. Well, Ernest's real name is Jack Worthing, but that is nowhere near fashionable enough for London. He's from the country, and to anyone back home, like his stepdaughter Cecily or maid in his prison, he's Jack, with Ernest being his made-up cool younger brother who doesn't exist. With Algernon's mother passed away, his closest relations are his aunt, Lady Bracknell, and cousin, Gwendolyn. Who Jack likes rather a lot, and they're coming to tea. Ernest proposes to Gwendolyn, but as soon as her mother finds out that he was discovered at birth in a handbag, in Victoria Station. Lady Bracknell cuts off the engagement. Ernest secretly gives Gwendolyn his address to his country home. And Algernon secretly copies it down too. He wants to meet Cecily, Jack's stepdaughter. Act two! Algernon arrives in the country pretending to be Jack's imaginary brother Ernest to flirt with Cecily. Jack arrives in the country, can't be bothered to pretend he has a brother anymore, so announces Ernest is dead. Gwendolyn arrives in the country, bumps into Cecily, and they begin arguing over just who is engaged to Ernest until Jack and Algernon appear. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Act Three! Lady Bracknell arrives in the country, looking for Gwendolyn. She's shocked to learn her and Algernon are engaged, but Cecily's got a massive inheritance, so she's okay with that. Jack calls off the engagement until he's allowed no. to marry Gwendolyn. Miss Prism turns up, who Lady Bracknell recognised as the old housemaid of Algernon's late mother, her sister, who disappeared along with Algernon's brother 28 years before. She tells of a terrible mix-up at Victoria Station between a pram and a handbag. Jack reveals his name is Jack, not Ernest, and that he kept the handbag all those years. Gwendolyn is not so sure Jack is marriage material. Ernest had such a ring to it. And Lady Bracknell reveals that Jack's real name is... Oh, you'll have to watch the play to find out. Get your tickets. Please. Thank you very much.